What's happening, Kimfo? Welcome back to the channel, Knuckles TV. Knuckles coming at you. Today, we are on another camping trip. And, but this one's pretty special though, man. We actually have a bunch of the family going. Uh, they're already there. We are coming in today, my mom and dad, the rest of the other family, I think were there yesterday. My mom and dad was there yesterday for sure. And then we're coming in today and then my brother-in-law and his family are coming in as well, but that's, I'm gonna have to tell y'all that story here in a little bit. But anyway, we are headed to Lake Texana Campground, right? So it's over here in Edna, Texas. We've got 2.2 miles left before we get there another two minutes. So um, eh, first time we've ever been here. We're excited about it. Uh, the pictures my mom has sent us, the, it looks amazing. There's a bunch of trees, big old oak trees out there. So that's gonna be cool, man. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna go check it out. So as soon as we get there, here's, here's Lake Texana, check it out. As soon as we get there, I'll show you exactly what it looks like, give you a little tour, and, uh, and see, what, we'll see what kind of fishing we can do out here. Of course, it's gonna be fresh water. And uh, so we brought a little bit of different bait this time, brought some plastics and see if we can do some kind of freshwater fishing, see if we can catch anything. So we'll see you whenever we pull into the park. See ya! Your destination is on the left. Uh-oh. All right, Kim, folks. So the thing about this one is, this one's actually got two campsites there's Texana Park and then there's Breckenridge as well so Breckenridge is across the street uh, but we're over here at the Texana Park and so we gotta get our check-in paperwork the office is over here check in so let me go get that and then we'll be back all right Kim folk we finally made it man we are here set up finally everything's set up Got mom and dad over here, and uh, they are actually, hang on, copyrights. <laughs> They're actually right here, and then also have, oh yeah, they got a little picnic table and everything there. So, also my uncle Angelo and my aunt Sally are here, which is my dad's brother and sister-in-law, and then my Aunt Lolly, Uncle Jackie, which is also my dad's sister, and her husband are here. Uh, and then my brother-in-law, Gabriel, and his wife and family are also, they're, they're about to drive up here in a second. Uh, my other cousin, it takes them that long? my cousin Carol is supposed to be coming with her, her family as well and their camper. So we've got one, two, three, four, we'll have five different families here, uh, all camping here at Lake Texana campground so that's really dope uh it's really cool because we actually haven't seen them in, in in quite a while and uh and it's awesome that we also get to come out and not only visit with them but we also get to s do it while we camp so camping also brings us together as a family as y'all know as y'all seen in a lot of my videos it's always us and the family so we're excited about that man so we're gonna see them later on this afternoon they're actually down the way right there but uh Lake Texana is here. You got all that. Just a beautiful, beautiful park. They take really good care of it. Yeah. Here comes my brother-in-law. Here he comes. So we're gonna have to get him set up. He's actually gonna be parked right here. So let me help him and I'll tell you his story here in a little bit. So we'll get back with you here in a minute. The ease of auto level. I tell you what. <laughs> he pushed one button. And look at him. Ain't gotta do nothing else. Ah, dang. You lucky, bro? <laughs> I gotta do this. That's it. And the shithole. <laughs> and the shithole, that's it. <laughs> I was over here fishing. And I snatched him up with turtles. Oh, you trying to get away? Oh, hell. Let's see. Oh, shit. So now we gotta try to get the hook out of his mouth. That's not good. Oh, he ain't gonna like that at all. Alright, dad got the hook at him, so now we're gonna let him go back. He'll go in a minute. There you go. The 
It'll be gone. Well, there's my Uncle Angelo right there. Hey, Dwayne. How you doing, sir? I'm doing good, man. Doing all right? Good to see you. You too, you too. Okay. It's been a long time, yeah, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad y'all made it out here. Huh? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad y'all invited us. Glad y'all invited us, so he's gone now. He's gone. Boy, he's good, ain't he? Yeah. <laughs> I would too. Hey, how are y'all doing? Hey, girls. How you doing, okay, man how Sally? You doing? Man Lolly. Did you catch already? Yeah. Goes, Messing buddy. with turtles. What did you catch? Hey, Dad yeah. caught a turtle. Oh, turtle about, about that big. All right, Kim folk. So now we're finally sitting here chilling, relaxing. Dad's here, my brother-in-law is here. I'm gonna let my brother-in-law tell you exactly what happened. So they left, what time did y'all leave? Shit, we left at 8? 8.35, 8.40. 8.35, he left, his house, right? And like I told you, uh, or no, I didn't tell y'all. We were gonna come early too, but our spot wasn't gonna be available because there was still people gonna be here. So we didn't come early with him. We were gonna leave at the same time. So he left early. About 8 30, 8 40. Started headed this way. It's two hours, right? Two hours what the, the time was to get here yeah. from our house. Yeah, about two, two, two and 15, somewhere in there. Two hours, two, two hours and 15 minutes, somewhere in there. And then, so he went ahead and took off. He took off, and then what happened? Man, right about maybe 30 minutes into the drive, right on 99, Highway 99. The, the truck started vibrating. I'm like, oh shit! Maybe I had flat spots on the tires because uh, I don't I don't drive that truck as much. Yeah. So I'm, I'm thinking it's just it's just a flat spot. And the vibration continues. So I pull over and look at the tires. I'm like, man, that is, I don't see anything. Huh? That was weird. So I kept going. Man, like two minutes down the road, <laughs> that sucker sounded like a like a big loud boom and a bunch of air escaping the next thing i know is i'm doing this <laughs> and he wasn't uh, dancing he wasn't dancing <laughs> then tire blew out tire blew out tire blew out on his truck two year old tire three year old tire. three year old tire just blew out blew out on his truck right so he's got he's got a 20 19 gmc right gmc 2500 3500 3500 3500 so he's got he's got a, maybe like a 10 ply tire or something like that right three quarter ton, three quarter ton. Three quarter, no it's a, a one ton one truck. ton one ton, ton truck, truck. Yes. so he's got that right and he's pulling his fifth wheel had the blowout i told him like i told him man thank god nothing else you know he was able to keep it on the road Nothing else happened to the truck, like the tire didn't separate completely to where it just destroyed his fender well or the bed of the truck. It was on the rear tire. And it blew out, but I'm gonna show you these pictures. These pictures, it's got like, it blew out like all the way around, right? It wasn't yeah, just well, one slot. Well, I think I think the, the belt separated right. and it blew out a big giant hole. And then from the rotation of the tire, the rim, it, the rim chewed cut up. Cut the rest of it. Cut the rest of it. But okay. But most of the time, when you have a blowout, man, that, that truck just goes out of control. Yeah, it just and, especially in the rear. Yeah. But, and with uh, all that weight back all there. All that weight. Yeah. It's a good thing and nothing happened. Go yeah. On. So he had a blowout on his truck. They finally got pulled over. He changed the tire out, right? So the camper, the camper, how much the camper weigh? 15,000 pounds. 15,000 pounds. He's pulling, <laughs> right? 15,000 pounds. The truck tires, they, once he, he ended up going to discount to get a new tire put on because he's got to have two tires, right? You always want to have a spare. You got to have a spare. And so he went to discount. Well, come to find out those tires that come with that truck were not rated. You're about how much? 600 pounds? It was 600, 600 pounds under. 600 pounds under what? what he needed to pull this camper so luckily it hasn't happened before this luckily after this happened it didn't you know it wasn't worse it just the tire blew out he was able to pull over he was able to change it went to discount was gonna just replace one tire but decided to go ahead and redo replace all of them so now he's got higher rated tires higher rated tires 
be able to pull the camper. Heavy load. I think it's like 11 to 12 ply. 11 or 12 ply? Yeah. So they're load E, right? Load E. Load yeah. E. So uh, you weight. can look it up. That'll tell you how, yeah. you know, the weight that it can handle. Yeah, um, way, way better tire. Yeah, way better tire. So, man. So we didn't leave till 11. It was almost 11 o'clock when we left. And we got here at one, a little after one o'clock. I think it was one, a little bit after one. And of course, Gabriel should have already been here, but with everything that happened, he wasn't able to make it before us. But then he ended up, he did, he only ended up showing like an hour later, dude. Yeah. So it wasn't too bad. No, I, I should have been here like around 10. Yeah. 10 30. Yeah. But I ended up arriving at two o'clock two o'clock <laughs> so two o'clock but you arrived that's I, I the important it. thing I made it. he made it so yeah man it was crazy so i showed you the pictures man that's that's what the tire looked like like i said you know thank god nothing else happened he was able to get pulled over and you were in the middle lane right it was two lanes i'm on the outside on the inside lane on yeah. the, so you had to go over two lanes to get to the yeah get to the actually no no i it's, it, i'm on the outside lane right i'm on the outside lane and i just pulled over on the shoulder oh okay and the lucky i was really lucky that i was within maybe 50 yards from a a ramp so i, I exit the freeway you got it off the freeway just so i can get out of the freeway yeah, yeah, yeah. and and be able to change the, the time yeah, went to a safe spot jeez man so that's the story on gabriel's little <laughs> adventure uh like i said luckily he made it here man everybody's good uh so now we're here just hanging out drinking some beer and denise got a nice little she got a big old as big as my leaf head. <laughs> <laughs> so did you find that when y'all broke down uh yeah so we stopped and they were like like doing construction and right. they had recently planted like these trees yeah and so I, oh, so I they saw, weren't that big no they were baby trees oh they really little. and uh, so i grabbed the leaf because it was huge and yeah. my brother grabbed the seed turns out they're sycamore trees and they can grow up to like 150 feet tall damn and the biggest tree ever recorded was 173 feet tall and 13 feet in diameter damn. Like the, how, how long the the actual like Space like the of, trunk yeah. of the tree trunk is. Of it. Yeah. So I think that's pretty Damn. cool. It's a big leaf for a little that is tree. Cool. Yep. Yep. Man, well, that's cool. So just imagine what they get like whenever they're full grown, right? Yeah. I'm sure the same size as the leaf, but you think so? But, but a lot of leaves. But it'd be a bunch of bunch leaves. of them. Yeah. 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 I bet yeah. it'd be really pretty. This joker just hit me in the damn face. <laughs> Can you no see it? Thanks. What is that? That's not a yellow jacket. It's a yellow jacket. Is it? That mother. Oh, there you go. Now he's gone. There he is. Nope, he's right there. He was right there. <laughs> Apologize for that, but I didn't want to get stung. We'll see you in a little bit. Kim folk. My uncle Angelo just got done cooking shrimp and fish, fried it up with some french fries. Oh my gosh. So good. Everybody's super full. Let me show you what it looked like. Fish, shrimp. He cooked so much. My Aunt Sally made some macaroni and cheese. And then french fries let me tell you this is the way to do some camping y'all so good so we got everybody out here already just hanging out man talking having a good time doing what you're supposed to do whenever you hang out with family so it's so good man we're having a great time this is our first night here we'll be here again tomorrow and then sunday we'll be leaving but we're about to go out do some fishing here in a little bit so uh hopefully we'll catch something and i'll show you what that is but if not then we'll see you in the morning and 
we'll show you what we end up if anything we're gonna be eating right all weekend so we'll see how that goes but we'll see you in a little bit oh yeah you already know what time it is right official camp clock baby that's right beer 30. <laughs> so here we go we'll see you in a little bit just all fucking grass because it ain't fighting just turn it on should be recording right yeah Oh, you son of a biscuit. Well, that's a big joker too, ain't he? Yeah. He got something. That's Let's see what it is. Like it was... okay. All right, Kim folk, we have made it back towards the house. We've already dropped the camper off. It was an amazing weekend, man. I didn't record a whole lot because we were spending a lot of time with the family. Uh, we haven't seen the family in a while like I said earlier but uh, we had a great time man and it was really cool to see everybody cousins even came down and stuff so didn't catch much fish but still had a great time uh, Lake Texana Park is uh, pretty amazing got a lot of trees really nice over there so we will definitely be going back right now we're gonna go home unload everything else take a shower and go to bed right baby yep that way we can get some rest because tomorrow's a work day so i hope you enjoyed that video man and uh if you get a chance to ever go check out lake texana park uh go check it out even the breckenridge uh, across the way there so go check them out i appreciate everybody man thank y'all all for all y'all support all the time all day every day until next time, much love, much respect. Knuckle out.